hello you guys welcome back to Marcella's way so as you guys saw from the title this one is gonna be a good one I've been wanting to put this video out for a little while now because I think it is valid information and we are really gonna go ahead and we're gonna get to it you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe specifically like when you like this video you tell youtube that you like the information that you're getting and then they will make it so other people get that information too so without further ado let's get to the video so in this video i'm going to be explaining to you the difference between photo direct heat transfer paper and 3d jet opaque Okay, I want you to understand what the difference is. So when you guys are looking for heat transfer paper, you know the different qualities, what you get from them. Okay, so this is the way the photo paper direct looks on the back. Okay, and this is the way the 3D jet opaque looks on the back. The other thing that is a huge difference between these two heat transfer papers is the price. The price point on these two are totally different. These you can get for 10 in a pack for maybe $13 from Amazon. This you'll probably get 50 in a pack for $47. This is the one that you'll go for if you're using this for your business. Although it's more expensive, you get what you pay for. And that's just being honest with you. This one you will go for if you're starting out, you're just trying to get something a little bit on the cheaper side, this is the one that you're going to go for. If you're getting started, don't be afraid to get this from Amazon until you get yourself together and get some more money worked up and then you can go over to this. So not only are we going to be talking about these, I'm going to press the photo paper direct on the t-shirt and I'm also going to press a t-shirt with the 3D jet opaque so you guys can see the difference. So you guys can see how they show up on the shirt, what they feel like, all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back. All right, you guys. So I wanted to show you real quick while we're in the software, your opaque paper which is the one that's going to go on top of the black will not be flipped please don't flip it horizontally because it's not going to work the light garment is flipped horizontally now in this case the light garment one is going to be the photo paper direct the 3d jet opaque is going to be the um dark garment okay so this one is going to be a hoodie this one is going to be a white shirt okay so you guys hold tight i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to print out both of these images and then i'll be back okay so both are printed this one is the 3d jet opaque all right so it turned out really good it's not any lines or anything like that in it but it see it's seemingly more dull than this one this one seems more brighter than this one and this one it had a little bit more lines in it this is for the white garment we're just going to lay this on top and press it this one i'm going to peel this off of the backing and then I'm going to sit the picture down on top of the shirt like this and press it. Okay. So this also has some paper that goes on top of the image. So I'll show you guys that as we press. Okay. We're here at the press. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the backing off of the 3D jet opaque because it has to be laid down on the hoodie with the picture facing up. Now, one thing that I did notice from this paper that was different from the, the opaque photo paper direct is when you sit this image on top of the heat press, the ends don't curl. 
when you use the photo paper direct, the ends curl up. So you have to put this Teflon sheet up there and hold it down because otherwise it will start to curl. I can literally lay it on the plate and it'll stay just like this. I can move it around on the shirt and it will not curl up. That definitely speaks to the quality of the transfer sheet. All right, I wanna show you guys something very important about this 3D Jet Opaque, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and I'm gonna press it. Now pay attention to the color of it now, okay? Okay, so it's been pressed. Now look how vibrant the color is on it. So yeah, that's one good thing about the 3D Jet Opaque. Now we're gonna move forward to the photo paper direct on the white shirt. Okay, so the white shirt is on the plate. Now this next step is a very important step when you are dealing with heat transfer paper that is for white garments, okay? Being that the paper is a little transparent, you'll be able to see any lint, hair, whatever, um, once you press the heat transfer paper to the garment, and then now you'll have pieces of hair trapped underneath the picture. You don't want that because that is not good. So make sure you take a lint roller and go over top of the garment as much as possible. Try to make it, make sure that you get up any little lint particles. All right, so now we're gonna take this image. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this image and we're gonna lay it paper side up, okay? We're gonna lay it paper side up. Make sure everything is aligned properly. Make sure your placement is right. And if you see, you see the paper is curling. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press this garment. I'm going to go ahead and press this for 15 seconds. And then I'm going to do another five second press after I get done. Okay, so it looks like this paper is not like really allowing me to... um. So, all right, so if you see, when I touch it, it's a little bit on the sticky side. And then right here, it pulled up. So what I'm going to do is to get it tacked all the way down, I'm going to press on top of it with the parchment paper just for a couple seconds just to get it completely tacked down all right i wanted you guys to see that this paper will work but do you see how it's giving me these issues right here this is the inconsistency that i'm talking about okay now like i said it'll work for you in the beginning but eventually you're gonna get tired of this type of stuff because what you're going to have to do is cover this up. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to let this sit somewhere and get dry. Because if you don't let it dry and you fold it on top of each other, it's going to start sticking to itself. It, it looks good. I'm not going to say that it doesn't. It does, you know, it does look good. But, you know, there's definitely, there's definitely a difference when it comes down to the process itself and the quality. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go back to the table and then we'll do a comparison when you put them by each other while I do my closer. All right. See you guys in a minute. We're back from the press. As you guys saw, this one is the 3D Jet Opaque. Now, when we first printed it out, this one was the duller one of the two. Okay. But after you press it it almost seems to like lighten the picture up 
so I guess that's where the 3D part comes from because the color is very vibrant. It it still has, you know, like a little sound to it, but of course that comes with heat transfer paper. It kind of is what it is, and you know, in that case. But yeah, it, it doesn't sound too bad, but it still has like a slight sound over it. And then this one, okay, this one is not as vibrant as the other one was, but this one we had some user issues with. And this one kind of has, I don't know if you guys can see, it has like a shine over top of it. You see? But this one doesn't have a shine. It actually looks a little bit more matte, which when you're doing these type of garments, you really don't really want that shiny look. Sometimes this uh, jet opaque one is so expensive you know, when you're first starting out, you might want to work your way up to this. But this one, it I mean, it works for the price. You might want to just have a couple of extra sheets when you do it, just, just in case you have to do it over or whatever the case is. But you really want to try to avoid that. But it doesn't have like a, it kind of does have like a little plasticky sound to it. It doesn't look bad. You know, it's passable. But if you want to give your customers a good quality, then this one is your better bet. I hope that you guys found that information useful. I tried to be as detailed as I could about it, but I want to make sure you guys get all the information that I can give you on this so you don't make any mistakes or make as little mistakes as possible. So thank you guys for coming back to Marcella's Way. You guys, don't forget to cop that merch. That's in the description box. If you want to support this channel, there are links that you can support this channel down in the description box. And make sure you don't forget to hit that like button on your way out because that will help the channel greatly. And I am so appreciative that you guys watch this video. Make sure you leave a comment which type of heat transfer paper you use. So thank you so much for coming back to Marcella's Way. And as usual, I have a my way so I can inspire you guys to have a your way.